Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Crave with Linda. So I'm coming on guys because it is Monday and it's around 4.30. Is it 4.30 already? God. And I'm making meatballs for dinner tonight. Um, got kind of a late start route today. And um, yeah, so just starting to make some meatballs. I already made the whole mixture up. Um, you guys have seen me do before, so I don't know. But I, what I used this time was um, I used the meatloaf mix. I told you guys I really, really like that meatloaf mix that I made. Um, that I made my, um, let me see some. That I made my, my uh, stuffed peppers with. And I really, really like it. So I'm using that. So I already put in, I put two eggs in here in my meatloaf mixture, I mean, in my bean pull mixture. I put grated cheese, salt and pepper, garlic powder, fresh, gar fresh, um, fresh garlic, fresh parsley, and some dried parsley and some Italian seasoning. Um, I'm trying something new out. I usually make them with my hands. I just don't feel like doing it with my hands tonight. So I'm gonna see if this works out. I don't know if it's going to. These might be way too big. So I'm just trying to say, I have ones that are much smaller. Like I could do either this size or I could do this size. These are too small. So let's see how these, how that worked out. I don't know. And not really in a, in a round circle. So I'll have to kind of, and this flame is way too hot. I don't know if those are too big. So I'm just kind of putting them in here and forming them a little bit. They're not really round balls. They look more like flat. Let me see this. These are going to be minis if I do these. There'll be minis. Those I think are just too big. like a, a crust on them. I don't like my meatballs with like a crust on them. Mm. Yeah, I think these are a better size than those big dollars. Huge. <laughs> They're actually a good size, like if you want to put them in like um like a meat like a meatball um palm sandwich or something, you know. But I like those size. I like this size much better. I just feel like I'm off the last couple of days. I don't know what's going on. I'm taking my medicine. I just feel off. I can't really pinpoint it. But 
kind of not myself. Trying my best. Now I'm going to higher it just a little bit because now it's too low. Um, I just feel like I'm struggling a little bit. I'm struggling with motivation. I'm struggling with doing the things that I normally do. And I don't, and I, and I just really don't understand why. <laughs> I don't understand why. But um, usually when this happens, I just have to fight my way through it. And so that's what I'm trying to do. But it's not always easy to do that. But again, I'm trying. So I want to check this gravy because I think the gravy is going to have to have some water added to it. But I'm going to let it um, boil a little bit. Um, let me get that thing. It's all dirty. I'm not doing that right now. I'll have to use the knife, the fork, I mean. I mean, these are definitely good. Like, if I was to make meatball heroes, I would definitely make them no size. But this is more of the size that I normally make them. So I like that little thing. I like the little scooper thing. I'm going to use that from now on. So we went to Julie's this morning to, um, Billy had to fix her light or something. Ended up not working, so whatever. But um, Brody came home with us. So we're having a sleepover tonight with Brody. And I'm very excited because I love Brody and we miss him. Yeah. What? Can you send us pajamas? <laughs> so these are going to go in the gravy too. So I'm not going to like kill them in here. I just want them nice and brown, you know. I made the, um, the mixture very moist. I always do because we like it. We like soft meatballs, soft meatloaf, soft um, stuffed peppers. You know, we just we like moist, soft stuff. <laughs> And like I said, I use this for my, um, I use this mix for my uh, stuffed peppers. And oh God, it just was, came out so amazing. In fact, I have to put those in the freezer. I had some in the, I just took them and put them in the refrigerator. They got to go in the freezer because I have like five left. And I need to use, stick them in the freezer because I don't want them to go bad. We like them a little brown, not, you know, not too brown, not burnt, or, you know. This 
nothing like fresh homemade meatballs. This is kind of what I grew up on. The smell just brings back memories. sitting here I think these are looking good yeah, these are a nice size They're, they definitely are a nice size I've made them that big before but Taste one, guys. Mmm. So good. Nice and moist. Really moist. Really good. Mm. Really, really yummy. You can see how moist the, the mixture is. See, like how wet. Really delicious. Nice and seasoned well. Fresh parsley, fresh garlic. Salt and pepper. So yummy, guys. Yeah, guys, I'm just turning these over. I gotta take that gravy in a minute. I think I need to add some water to it. I like using this thing, guys. This makes it really convenient.
smooth the wool over a little bit. And if they're small too, guys, they cook quicker too. But like I said, they're going in my gravy too, so. Really? They're coming out yummy. Almost done with them. Made a lot of meatballs. I made a big, um, a big pack. I think it was like two and a half, two and a half pounds, something like that. I think I got two more out of here. Let me wash my hands, and then we'll turn these over. All right, guys, I'm going to add a little bit of water. Like, I don't know, a little under two cups. So maybe I'll add a little bit more. Because when I put the meatballs in, I don't want the meatballs to, like, get smushed, and I want the meatballs to have somewhere to, like, you know, swim around. So it has to be fairly, not thin, but it has to, you know, it has to be kind of thin. I don't want it really thick. I'm going to put a little bit more water. Water is your best friend when you're making Italian gravy, guys. Your best friend. Like I said, these are really tiny, so they're you know, not tiny, but they're really small, so they're not going to take very long. And then they're going to cook in the gravy, like the last half hour, 40 minutes. 
half hour because the gravy's already cooked. It just has to be like really heated up. I'm going to shut the oil off because regardless, these are done in a minute. And then we're going to take them out. Um, I'm going to let them sit for five minutes and then I'm going to put them in the gravy. Side so it cools off. Cause that could be. They look yummy, guys. I've been drinking a lot of water these last couple of days. Um, I don't think that's such a good thing, though. I mean, it's a good thing that I'm drinking water. But it's not really a good thing that I'm craving water because that means that my sugar has been a little bit high. There's always, you know, there's always bad to good. Um, I'm going to cut some of this parsley for the gravy up a little bit. I love I love fresh parsley and like and all that, but sometimes it's just, it's annoying because I really don't want the big fat stems in it. So you got to take the time to take the stems out. If you're gonna have fresh parsley, you're gonna have to do that. I don't mind little pieces here and there, you know, but I don't want any big like. But it happens. It happens. You know because. Um, I wonder, like, if at the restaurants they sit there and do this. They take out the stems. They must, no? Um, yeah. So I added water, I showed you I added water to the gravy, right? Um, I'm just gonna hire just a little bit more. And here are the meatballs, guys. Look at how moist. Oh, they look so yummy. Surprised Hubby hasn't been in here to get one yet. He might be any minute. I'm gonna put these in the gravy in one second and then I'll show you. Alright guys, so I'm gonna make some garlic bread, okay? I'm gonna take one half of it. Okay. I'm gonna 
gonna take one half of it, which is gonna be the top. The bottom I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep this, I can give Jenny a sandwich with half of this tomorrow. I'm only gonna make one half because, um, is Frankie eating home? Yeah, it'll be enough because Billy doesn't really eat garlic bread and um, Jenny and I will eat it, but Frank, there'll be enough. Now what I do guys to take out some of the the carbness of it, okay, is I take out some of this inside, make sure, you know, try to be careful not to rip out the bottom. And it's already ripping. Ah, oh, Linda. Because this right here is the deadly stuff right here. The stuff that I want to eat. And what I do is, I take a little bit of butter. This is how I've always done it. Mm. I just do it on a paper dish. I don't know. take this, I'm going to stick it in the, actually, let me get more. Let me soften, let me soften both of them up a little bit. I got to put the whole pot of water on too. Now I want to soften this a little bit, but I don't want to melt it. So I'm just going to put it in there for a couple of seconds. My hubby teaching me everything. <sighs> this one melted, but this one didn't, so I'm just gonna kind of stick this in here and let it melt a little bit. Are you talking about me? Yeah. Husband's husband. This has to be melted more because this cannot. The whole bread will rip because I already say I already ripped part of the bread. But this has to be nice and soft because, like I said, it will rip the bread. Let's put this in the mic for another five seconds.
All right, guys, that's it. Now, I would normally put like garlic. See, I didn't want it to get that melted, but that's all right. Garlic, fresh garlic, but nobody in my house really is crazy about that on garlic bread. So what I do is I put the garlic powder, the garlic powder, I put a little drop of onion, not a lot, just a little flavoring. A little salt, a little pepper. I'm gonna put this on. a little bit of fresh parsley. And wait, there's more. I put a little bit of grated cheese. I'm gonna put this in the um I'm gonna put this in the uh George in the George form. In the toaster oven. And this is how I do it. This is really aggravating the crap out of me. Like totally aggravating the crap out of me. So, this is what I'm doing. Like, this is kind of like the fat Italian bread. I like the thin, like, cut apart of Italian bread. They didn't have it, though. I was annoyed. I didn't see it. I'm just going to be careful taking that. <laughs> the bread. Out of it. But I like to do that because, first of all, I like the garlic bread a little bit thinner in the first place. And second of all, you know, the carb situation. Got to help myself out a little bit. <sighs> Why is Jennifer calling me? All right, so I'm gonna put this on here. This is what how I do it. This is how you do it. And if you didn't want to do it this way, guys, you could always just smear a little soft butter on it and do it that way too. You don't have to do it like this. You can pour all the seasonings right on top of the bread. You don't have to mix it in with the butter. However you want to do it. You do it how you want to do it. Some people just use olive oil and, you know, garlic for their garlic breads. I like butter. Sometimes I use olive oil and, gar and butter, but I never just use olive oil. That's just not how I've made it. I always did it this way. That's just the way I've done it, and I love it this way. And guys, you know, you can make garlic bread on English muffins, on white, on white toast. I've done it, you know, with hot dog rolls. You could do it with anything. Any leftover bread that you have, whatever. It doesn't have to be Italian bread. You can make garlic bread or just bread and butter. You know what I mean? You don't have to have just Italian bread. Just trying to get all the, all the goodness off of here. Mmm. So yummy. I honestly don't taste any garlic. So, I'm going to put a little bit more garlic on it. Because it is garlic bread. 
and a drop more cheese and then some paprika. So much for getting a ring light. What? So much for getting a ring light. It doesn't work. It, it makes... I you. I got you. No, I know, but it, it, it makes a glare. Everybody says it makes more of a glare than, than not having it. All right, guys, so here it is. I'm going to put it in. And when, the, when I put the pasta in the water, I will put that on broil. And that'll be done in, you know, 10 minutes. Not even 8, 10 minutes. be home already. She just called me. All right. Um, like I said, this I'm going to keep. This I'm going to keep this part, too, because I can use that for Jenny's sandwich. That's what we're going to do. What are you barking at? Wait till Jenny sees you're here. Jenny's going to be so excited that Brody's here. So excited. Because she doesn't, she doesn't know, but I'm sure she hears. If she's home. I'm sure she hears him. So I'm just gonna wait for the water to boil, guys, and then get the pasta. And I'm making angel hair pasta. All right, guys. So I'm making fettuccine for Jen. Uh, you know, Alfredo. Where's the fourth one? Huh? No, he, he's okay. He's okay. Um, I'm making Alfredo. For Jen. So what I'm doing is, this is how I do my Alfredo, guys. This is how my mom did it. Sour cream. A little half and half. Salt. A drop of pepper. And I put a piece of butter in it. Um, this thing is really annoying me. Garlic powder. Not a lot. Italian seasoning. Not a lot. Some dried parsley, not a lot. Well, a lot. <laughs> I gotta check that pasta. Then I just give it a little mix and then I'm gonna put it in the microwave and let it heat up. So I want the best of the butter to melt. I gotta put the um, the garlic bread on. No, I don't have shrimp. I have meatballs and sausage. Why not? Jen, don't start. No, don't even start with me, Missy. You're having fettuccine tonight. that every time she can have like fettuccine now she thinks she can have chicken or, or a shrimp with it all the time. She's really out of control.
so I heated this up, guys. Now I'm going to put and mix it up a little bit. Just waiting on the um, on the garlic bread. And um, what I'm going to do is put her pasta in here, and then I'm going to put it in the microwave after after the um, the garlic bread is done. That won't take long at all. How my mom always made fettuccine alfredo. It's weird how you grew up with certain things, you know, how your parents made stuff, and that's what you remember. And it was delicious. I feel like something's going on with it. Oh, it figures the one time I want to make uh, I make garlic bread. It's acting up, I think. I gotta check it and see if not. It's not working. I'm gonna have to put it in the broiler on in the oven. And while the pasta's ready, let's check it out. Oh yeah, it's heating up now. Yeah, something's wrong with it because I put it on. Um, I put it on broil and it's not, it didn't even heat up on broil, but it's heating up on bake. We gotta swap it out. We have a, um, a warranty on it, so we're gonna have to do that. Pasta's done. I'm just gonna put a little hot water in it because I don't want it to.
I'm looking to see. You know, I'm maybe I had some chicken to put in Jenny's fettuccine, but sure. So the gravy is all heated up and we'll just take it out of the pot. Ooh, that looks so yummy guys. Look at this. back when I make my plate. I'm making Jenny a salad too, guys. Because she doesn't want... She usually has like sausage and, um, you know, a meatball. She doesn't want that, right. so I'm no, making her a salad. And she could have a salad with her dinner. Get the garlic bread out. Here we go. Look at that, guys. I put it on toast the last couple of minutes just so to get the bottom toasted. Yeah, so, um... Look at that, guys. That looks amazing. So, where are you? Huh? Oh. Mm-mm-mm. So I'm going to make my dish up. All right, guys. So here's my dish. I got a little bit of spaghetti, two meat, little meatballs, and a little piece of garlic bread. And this is what's for dinner tonight, guys. Pasta with some gravy, Italian gravy, meatballs, and garlic bread, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, what Jenny had right there. I have garlic and bread, and, um, fettuccine, fettuccine and, salad. and salad, right? Yeah. All right. Um, why does this happen? Are you kidding me? Um, let me just pause a minute. All right, guys. So um, I'm going to end this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like and share and comment down below. And thanks for coming in my kit. Um. Thanks for creating in my kitchen with me today, guys. I so appreciate all of you, and I love yous, and I'll see you on the next video. video.